Well, we have been so extremely lucky to spend the last hour here at the historic Virginia Theater, getting a look at everything here that the public can see. However, you get a, a little interesting sneak peek. I did. So if you've ever been lucky enough to sit in one of these seats behind me and watch a performance, you might have been wondering what goes on behind the scenes. Well, Perry Morris takes us backstage for a walk and talk history tour. Okay, Perry, so we are exiting stage right now. Right. And where are you taking us? We are going to go up a steep staircase into the organ loft. All right, I'll let you lead the way. So I'm guessing the organ loft is where the organist sits. No, no. it's where the pipes are, not the organist. Watch really? your head, it's a very narrow opening. Okay. I don't know enough about organs to describe all of these pipes. I just know that they sound wonderful when we have a nice organist down in the uh, pit. But one of the things we want to see up here is every time they've done work in the or on the organ, they have made a little note on the wall. Somebody might think it's graffiti, but it's a nice little list of work that was done. And including in a separate plaque is all of the people that were involved with the 2012 uh, John Paul Buzard Company restoration. Is that up here? Yes, actually it's behind me. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness, how cool is that? And what was the first date of the first signature? Well, uh, it looks like 22 to me, but the organ was open in 21 when they, uh, when they first opened the building. So when they installed this, 100 years ago, right. what was the cost of something like that? Well, Charlie Pyle, who was the instigator, uh, kept hyping that it was a $50,000 organ. But it didn't, it wasn't actually that much money. He was known for exaggeration, plus they were running into money issues and they had to make some cuts. So all the pipes that we see today is not everything that would have been here in 1921 when it opened. Mm -hmm. Stage. Right. Well, originally, about where we're standing was a second pin rail that they used to tie off the flies. That was taken out in renovations. We're going to go on up higher to the fly gallery and look at the what's left of the pin rail. And while we're on this level, before we take a look what used to be, let's look at what is used now to fly all the scenery. And when you say fly the scenery, you're talking about these big, beautiful back, backdrops and backgrounds that come into uh, the story. Exactly. It's fly because you fly it up into the loft. Okay. And normally back in the day, this was used using sandbags and rope. Exactly. But today we have Dactronics. It's all electronic. <laughs> so this controls various winches and pulleys and everything up in the, uh, up, up in the, up in the loft. because that was quite the truck up here. Way it's, to go. It certainly <laughs> was. We're both a little winded, but yeah. this is a really great view. What are we looking out at? Well, we, we're actually seeing a really fine view of the stage. We could watch the performance from here if there wasn't scenery in the way. But back in the day, if there were flies, if some of the scenery had to be flown up out of the way or brought down, this is where the technician would be, the stagehand would be, raising and lowering it. All by hand. All by hand. They tied it off on these pins, and this is the rail, hens pin rail, and uh, it's got its design from um, ships because it's the same type of uh, arrangement with the rigging on the, um, the sails and everything. Wow. And actually, early on, a lot of the sailors took on jobs as uh, stagehands. The dressing rooms are, have been modernized. And here's the one that I think is special, named after Leonard Doyle, who was a longtime local theater supporter, and he was also involved with getting the CUTC going. Now, can we go inside one of the dressing rooms? Uh, if they're not locked, <gasps> let's check Leonard's. Great lighting in here, perfect for doing a little makeup. Yeah, exactly. 
They're, uh, they're nothing really fancy, but they are pretty nice. Well, Perry, thank you so much for giving us a behind the scenes look here. And let's just remind people a little bit about who you are and what you do. I uh, have, I'm a theater, local theater historian, been researching the local theaters for some 30 years. And I have a website, cutheaterhistory.com, where I share information that I've uh, learned over the years. Well, we'll be sure to connect people to your website on our website, ciliving.tv. So fun hanging out with Perry there and getting a look backstage. Yeah. I always sit in the audience and wonder like what it looks like for the actors and actresses yeah. when they're back there. It's, it's nice to have connections it to is. get back behind the scenes. Now.